Hey everybody, welcome to Sweet Talks, the show where we talk about random stuff while we wait for our videos to render. Recently, we've been overwatching the Overwatch trailers. So we've decided to celebrate with blizzards from Dairy Queen. Not a sponsor. Mine's starting to melt. I don't. We've taken too long to set up and I, now I don't know how to open this. Like, this is... Oh no, oh, oh no, oh. oh. So, recently, this week, the internet has been abuzz with talks of a game called Overwatch. And there have been tons of gameplay videos on it, but notably, a lot of people are invested into the characters from this game because of the cinematics. Yes, um, Blizzard has a history of making these awesome cinematics, and we think Overwatch has been a fantastic evolution of mm. their style. Like, if they wanted to compete with Pixar, they could, with all that World of Warcraft and Starcraft money rolling in, they were able to make these fantastic not cinematics. A, not only the money, but uh, just the experience about yeah. creating the cinematics, because like, any gamer who's from our generation, if you picked up like Warcraft or Starcraft 1, the biggest thing was the cinematics. Yeah, and they've always been like the king of cinematic, mm -hmm. video game cinematics, in my mind. The biggest thing that separates Blizzard cinematics from everyone else's is the amount of polish. Because mm -hmm. each Blizzard cinematic stands on its own, particularly it really their trailers. So like, wow! Like, um, I know the Burning Crusade trailer with Illidan. That was one was, that was really, a good one. really good um, trailer. One that stood out to me and I guess us mm -hmm. was the Mist of Pandaria trailer. And I see it as kind of a um, not a prequel, but kind of a taste of that humor and that quirkiness that they have um, in a very cartoonish, like, animated style. For example, that's when Kung Fu Panda was sort of really popular, so they had Mists of Pandaria at the same time, which obviously kind of seems like Kung Fu Panda has got very similar humor, it's got a cartoonish style. Like that little quirky character bits uh, where... The, Orc and the human, yeah. like, they meet the Pandaren, and the Pandaren's like completely like whooping their butt and then there's a second where they're just standing there and they hand over the he hands the orc a weapon yeah that was that was pretty funny and it's i think from there and then moving into overwatch if i didn't know it was a game i would have assumed it was like some sort of um like big hero 6 kind like of yeah game. like big yeah. hero 6 like, like that kind of animation like it just i feel like they could compete and they could almost probably make a film themselves if they wanted to now one thing I really love about what they've done with Overwatch in particular is they have more than one trailer. Um, they kind of released them like Team Fortress style, so each of them kind of is a backstory to each of these characters that they've created. So what they do in the actual trailers is they give you the whole story of the game. Now there isn't an actual plot in the. If you look at, at the, just the game itself, it's like a multiplayer like team game. There isn't really a campaign or story, but what they've done in the cinematics is that they've created like a universe that the players can kind of come into when yeah. they're playing. So in a way, their cinematics they have to do really well on because that's their story. That's their because um, there's no single player campaign. There's no story mode. It's a full multiplayer game. So the cinematics are a way of telling a story that they want to create, and I feel like they've done that really well. The kind of humor, the style, and like the light-hearted um, wave they've done it is pretty epic. Uh, and it goes from something kind of poetic to something cute and adorable, like with Winston. Another reason why I think the Overwatch trailers are done so well is Blizzard knows how to do animated action. Yeah. Yeah, recently with like the new Starcrafts, mm -hmm. um, all their stuff since I believe like 2010. Oh shit, I don't, I mean... I don't even know, like, it, it started with, I'd say, like, um, the new StarCraft, like Wings of Liberty. Star oh, ooh, yeah. yeah. I think they really developed the atmosphere in StarCraft 2. Like, they really perfected uh, the action scene. Mm -hmm. There's a scene with Kerrigan. It's basically a cinematic showing the flashback of her getting overrun by the Zerg in, I believe, uh. the first game. 
And right. there's like, she's fighting Hydralis and there's like a slow motion shot of her. Shoots the hydro like straight through the head. Like there's a lot of movement and like it's very dynamic looking. Right. Yeah. And not to say that the World of Warcraft cinematics weren't dynamic, but I think in terms of action sequences, it really raised the bar. Raised the bar in in StarCraft. Um, there's a part that really stood out to me where uh, I forgot. Was it a Vulcan? What are you, what are those called? Valkyrie. Valkyries. Are they like Valkyries? it's the one that transforms into a. Yeah, the ones that transform into a, 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 a little mech. Yeah. So there was that one scene where it swoops down, and right in front of the Ultralisk, it flies, transforms midair, and then the Gatling guns start loading up. And as they do, it's he's like shooting the floor, and it's going everywhere. Like those little details, like that sequence, I thought was really cool. Like it just seemed really desperate. You know, and like sequences like that where they're like flying around the Overlord, where all the movement actually gives the character yeah. more character too as well. Yeah, and yeah. then going from that to where they are now with Overwatch, I feel like the Overwatch is so dynamic, especially like the movement that they create, especially during the Tracer versus Widowmaker scene and all this cool stuff, like when she shoots at Tracer. Tracer blinks in; it, the bullet yeah. goes straight through her, and, and she hits her hits, target. Hits the target. Yeah. So it was kind of misleading, but at the same time it wasn't because she meant to hit the target. And it was like, that was really awesome. Um, and even going from that to the Genji versus Hanzo cinematic, it's like a classic, like not cheesy. Like an like, old fable. Kind yeah, of. Like, yeah, kind of like an old I think that's why story. I like it so much. That's why yeah. it's one of my favorites, because it's an easy story to follow. It's not like a ridiculous new story, but the fact that they did it so well. They integrated the story yeah. into the action very yeah. well. Dragons, the cinematic trailer, is their cinematic is a combination of almost everything they've learned in the past. So it's got like that sense of humor, like those guys at the beginning, the gangster's like running into that bell and he's just, like trying to pull onto his phone. It's just look really goofy. He can't take his gun. Like it's very Pixar esque. And then it transforms into like this battle between like brothers. You yeah. don't know it. They don't know at the time, but yeah. it's a lot more intense. Like there's a shot with the scatter arrow. Yeah, where that he was shoots awesome. it, and then there's like billions of arrows mm -hmm. shooting around Genji, and he's just dodging it. And then he turns on like the speed boost in his legs or whatever. He's like, yeah. Shoo -shoo. it just looks awesome. Yeah, it's just so cool. Yeah, and the yeah. dragons that come out, and it's like reveals that Genji has his own little. Little green dragon. Yeah, and it's a it's like a throwback to the game too, like their abilities, and I love that. Yeah, so Blizzard, um, we think, has outdone themselves in these new Overwatch trailers, and it's an amazing and amazing game. I think it's a really well done multiplayer game, and they really flesh it out. It's really worth a buy. Definitely. Yeah. Not a sponsor though. We're not, not a sponsor. Them. Now there's Dairy Queen, I guess. Blizzards though. Get it because Blizzard of the joke. So that's our episode of Sweet Talks for this week. We'll catch you guys later. You know, this seemed like a really good idea at first, but now it, like, it doesn't even make... I mean, the only similarity they have are... Is the name? They're, they're Blizzards. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Sweet Talks about Overwatch. We hope you over watching. We'd also like to welcome all our new subscribers and thank all our current subscribers for staying tuned. We promise we're working on something. What are those things we are working on, Arthur? Alright, two things that we're working on. The Edge, Episode 2, yeah. Elsa vs. Zuko. Elsa vs. Zuko. We're, we're still working on that. We're putting in the VFX on it as of today, uh, whenever this video is released. We're still probably going to be working on it. Probably. We're probably going to be stuck in here. Yep. And we're also working on a secret Suicide Squad project. Coming out when Suicide, suicide Squad comes out. soon. If you want to check out more of our content, click the links on the side. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye!